and take that topic. But in this room, we have a tribe of positive psychotherapists. But there's some other people the application of positive psychology, right? So positive psychotherapy is kind of like Confucius in the Twitter age with a marketing problem. And today, I'd like to explore a possible solution. Just out of curiosity, how many of you guys have the experience where you introduce yourself as a positive psychotherapist, but people think you study positive psychology? Please raise your hand. Whoa, that's a lot. So when you spread ideas, you need to create values and then convey those values. In the field of psychotherapy, there's two ways for marketing. One is through science, the other is through art. Let's do the research first. These are the data from Google Scholar in terms of how many papers are collected within an approach. You see CBT with 2.8 million papers collected, positive psychology roughly the same, positive psychotherapy with more than a million. But let's look closer. Other than the session, in the green circle, if you look at the red squares, it's all uh, Rashid, Selman, they're all positive psychologists. We don't have enough scientific muscle to support our promotion. And what about art? If you ask people, what does psychotherapy look like in your mind? Usually they would describe it like this, right? And one of the reasons why psychoanalysis is so successful in marketing is because they create a face of psychotherapy in the brain. Now our brain consists of three major parts. The reptilian part, represented by the dog, the mammalian part, represented by the horse, and the neo-mammalian part, represented by the computer. Different marketing strategies aim at different parts of the brain. Now, computer uh, marketing for science works on the computer. The computer likes things that are measurable and precise. For instance, double-blind studies, the fMRI machines. But science has a very high threshold when it comes to marketing. Now, marketing for art has a lower threshold. You see, in evolution, whichever comes first, with rules, right? So I hired one of my friends to draw these pictures, and they're really cute, right? And you must have noticed that the dynamics in this room suddenly changed because these fun pictures work on the limbic system, and they're emotionally contagious, right? So a picture is worth a thousand words. A TV show is more powerful than any scientific theory. So back to positive psychotherapy. It's mainly using the traditional ways to market uh, books, online training, Pretty much like Confucius or Aristotle in the pre-internet days. It's not wrong, it's just one-sided. So how do we update? Again, marketing is about conveying values. So what are the core values of positive psychotherapy? One is the theory, in particular the concept of capacity. The other is the people. We have a brain tank of more than a thousand members worldwide. So with these two core assets, when we try to promote it, we need to utilize all human resources together. So, remember there's two ways of marketing approach, right? Science and art. So in order for the young generation to publish more papers on positive psychotherapy, the first need to create the academic atmosphere where people can ask and answer questions. It's kind of like a Turkish bazaar for positive psychotherapy, only it's online. So me and my company did a website to meet this need where people can exchange ideas, and here's how it works. In this envelope, you can 
contains the information of the administrator of this website. So whoever owns it owns the website. Now, Professor Possession's work impacted my personal life and professional life a lot. I'd like to return the favor by dedicating this website to the World Association of Positive Psychotherapy. Dr. Harvey Possession, please. you had a, a memorable, memorable conversations from the film Hunting Will Hunting, I think. I think. It's a film about uh, the connection of a therapist and a patient. Uh, and I'm interested in what for you creates memorable conversation. Uh, thank you for the question. Thank you. 